So some of you may be aware of a user by the name of Case with Science. This guy made great videos. He blended an aspect of religious criticism with comedy that few can achieve. Unfortunately, however, it has recently been brought to my attention by my distant Irish relative Tilson, go subscribe, that Case with Science has recently endured some criticisms for one of his videos and has actually closed his YouTube account. Here's a news clip of exactly what the piss off is about. Controversial video of himself on YouTube. Alex Stewart uses pages from both the Quran and the Bible to smoke what he says are lawn clippings and says people shouldn't be offended. It's an internet stunt that's inflaming religious tensions. This is Bible test. Bible test number one. Um, I learned this at university, so this is uh, academically approved. Brisbane lawyer and atheist Alex Stewart uses pages from both the Bible and the Quran to smoke what he says are lawn clippings. Not the best in the world. A little bit papery. At the end of the 12 minute video he marks the Bible a better burner than the Quran. An Anglican church spokesperson says he can see the funny side but the Australian Federation of Islamic Councils says Muslims across the world will be offended. It's just really, really offensive and, you know, it's beyond being stupid. Last week, an American pastor attracted worldwide condemnation over plans to burn the Quran on September 11. Terry Jones called it off, despite no assurances New York's Islamic community will abandon plans for a mosque near Ground Zero. It is totally uh, cancelled. We, we, we hope that, that through that, uh, maybe that will open up a door uh, to be able to talk to the Amman. Mr Stewart, who's employed by the Queensland University of Technology, says people who get upset about burning holy books are taking life way too seriously. Uh, does it really matter? Like, I guess that's the point with all this, this It's just a f***ing book. Who cares? Who cares? There are now calls for Mr. Stewart to be sacked. Melanie Ruiz, 7 News. Now for those of you who actually saw the video, you'll know that the video really wasn't all that bad. Unless of course, apparently, if you're a butthurt fucking Muslim. All he did essentially was make a complete joke out of the fact that people get offended over stupid shit. And guess what? They have gotten offended over stupid shit. Now I don't fully understand why Kate's Science actually closed his account, or if he intends to come back for that matter. But what I do intend to do is show my support regardless. I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna let this one slide. So apparently some people want to take offense to people burning the Bible or the Quran. It's just really, really offensive and, you know, it's beyond being stupid. Well, Ike Bal Patel, it's time you wake the fuck up and learn what public relations are. It's time you grow the fuck up, separate yourself from your mother's bosom, and realize that throwing a fucking tantrum is not going to get you what you want. And so, in light of the strength in numbers, and the fact that the Anglicans, a sect that are killing each other, over stupid religious bigotry can still find the humor in this. I will now be burning both. And not just a page either, the entire fucking book. Don't worry, you can always get me back by burning my religious text. Oh shit, that's right, I don't have one. Well don't worry, you can make up for it by killing an innocent fucking filmmaker. I want all of you to know, prior to this situation, I had absolutely zero intentions to ever burn a Bible or a Quran. Now I'm doing it out of no other reason than just spite alone. Case with Science, this next video is in memory of your legacy here on YouTube, bro. Stay tuned for the next video.